We have to make sure that the politicians are held accountable. Every administration had the ability to put a ban on asbestos. When it comes to asbestos, it really is about power, money, uh, and politics. The next speaker is Sarah McConey from uh, United Kingdom. Uh, Sarah is unable to join us, but she has a video, and then I have a corresponding PowerPoint uh, that requires no note-taking, but I think it will help you to put things together that you've heard today. Uh, video first, please, from, from Sarah. Good afternoon, and welcome to the presentation from McConey. Firstly, congratulations to Linda and all of the team for the 14th. <clears throat> 14th annual conference for ADAO. Congratulations, masses of hard work. We are in awe of you, Linda, well done. We're gonna to talk to you this afternoon about how McConey and ADAO came together, how we collaborate, and what we do to spread the word around the world, all about the importance of getting rid of asbestos. So actually in 2014, Linda and I first met at the World Congress for Safety and Health in Frankfurt. And we almost literally bumped into each other. And from that day, the two of us have collaborated to spread the word around the world about the importance of getting rid of asbestos and most importantly, the dangers it can do. Linda has a really important story to tell and we have a, are part of a network and are all, they're all really good at telling stories. So it made sense for us to collaborate and try and get the story about asbestos and the dangers of the product around the world as quickly and easily as we could. Each year, we have collaborated with our international partners. So part of our network as an agency involves PR companies from around the world. And we've worked with them to spread the word about the conference and about, most importantly, Global Asbestos Awareness Week. And you can see here a, just a very small snapshot of some of the coverage that we've secured in the UK and then globally around the world, working with our partners who have translated coverage and then are putting it out into the media in all of those countries. It's a slow process, it takes time, but it's beginning to have a real effect and every year it's gaining momentum. So the message from us is we have to keep collaborating. As I said at the beginning, we are really sad we're not with you, but we are with you in spirit. And I think I'm going to leave you with one last thought. Communication these days is so much easier because of the power of social media. Individuals and small groups who have a real story to tell have a massive impact on society. It's much easier to do that than it ever has been before. We've begun to harness that and I think we've all got to work really hard to keep that message going so that ultimately we can rid the world of asbestos and make sure that never again do people suffer in the way they have suffered before. So enjoy the rest of your conference, have a great time tonight, and um, hopefully we might meet up with you all next year. Good night, bye. So Sarah is utter, utterly amazing, and I do have a PowerPoint if somebody could cue that. Is, is it set to go? Great. So Sarah and I did meet at the World Congress where uh, Hukutakala and many others gather to talk about, obviously, health and safety. And it was abundantly clear that we know so much, we have many papers, there's lots of evidence, but our ability to communicate and evaluate risk is a problem in the workers' field, but also in residential as well. So with, with Sarah McConey's agency, I thought it was a great fit, and we both agreed that we could work collaboratively on Asbestos Awareness Week. So it was terrific. The first year, we actually started out um, in, with just a joint press release, and through Sarah's uh, international network, we were able to reach many, many countries. As a result of, of that success in 2016, we 
obviously translated into two languages and obviously magnum, mag, maximized even more reach. And last year was probably the best uh, until this year. Uh, we translated the press release into six different languages. We reached, uh, I believe, over 44 countries. And our message was very simple. Uh, last year, it was here, asbestos, think prevention. So we give them a simple tagline, a graphic, and some bullet facts that those different countries can translate, write stories, send around. And our goal was to reach trade unionists, businesses, and others so they could actually own this week themselves. It's not about our week. It's about raising awareness in a collaborative way. So obviously, uh, this last year was the best. We had millions of impressions. We actually put together a video that was uh, the heartbeat away from tragedy, which sounds sort of dark, but it was hand illustrated by activists for Daos, activists and award-winning artists for Daos from Switzerland. So in 45 seconds, this hand sketch uh, shows a young girl whose father's exposed and ultimately vanishes from the scene, which you know means she dies. I want to show you what killed my father. Do you see it? No? Then come closer. I can't see it either. It's a tiny fiber called asbestos. We translated that video into five other languages. So we now combine not just the press releases, but now educational materials. And thanks to Jessica, please stand, Jessica. She translated, she designed a flyer. She designed a flyer that we had all of the key U.S. elements primarily that 15,000 Americans die, asbestos is a known carcinogen, and there's no safe level of use. So by keeping it simple, graphically interesting, and translating to other language, we found this to be very effective. Um, and we also have printouts that businesses have actually, vendors have, for instance, my mother was marketed by somebody in the real estate agency that said, did you know it's Global Asbestos Awareness Week and we'd like to raise awareness. So businesses are now obviously embracing a week of awareness, which is exactly what we want to do, trades, businesses, and everyone else. So we ask you that you join us next year for our Global Asbestos Awareness Week. And if you're interested into the great content that we had this last week, you can certainly go to our website to see the videos, read the press releases, and every day has a, has a share your story like from Mike and Heather that corresponds, as well as a blog that's written, whether it's Workers Memorial Memorial Day or another important topic during the week. So it's a lot of content, but it's easy to get through and it's been really positive. Hope to see you next year. Thank you.